Hi everyone, Dave here from Terrestre Studios and today I wanted to show you guys how to plant uh, cuttings in the grow pipe and today I have basil here. These basils were given to me uh, by somebody who started them in soil and uh, I want to take cuttings and put them into my grow pipe. Now my grow pipe um, is filled with maxi grow about one and a half teaspoons per gallon. Now about one teaspoon per gallon. It takes five quarts to fill the grow pipe. So I filled the one gallon, mixed that one teaspoon per gallon, and then the second gallon, which I only used a quart of, I mixed that one and a half teaspoons per gallon. So you've got just a little bit over a teaspoon per gallon in here to start my cuttings. And then I may go up a little bit from there. I'll probably keep topping this off with one and a half teaspoons per gallon of maxi grow. Um, yeah, this grow pipe, you know, if you guys have watched the channel, you know that I usually grow things from seedlings all the way up. Uh, but I also, a lot of times I'll grow cuttings. And basil did fantastic from cuttings in this pipe last time. And hopefully I have a picture to insert here. Um, but if not, I'll show you. I'll be showing you guys this one again after we get it going. You know, a few weeks down the road or so. So basically, um, just going to take your cutting at a growth node, which is where the where the leaves come out on the sides of these. So I think, and you want nice sharp, nice clean scissors. I think that I. I'm going to cut off a couple leaves so I can get this a little bit further in my pipe. My pipe is filled to about one inch from the top. I go to that first line on the finger and when the water just touched the tip of your finger and that line is at the edge of the pipe, so about, about that far from the top, that way you know that these will get into the solution if they're you know that short. And then just drop them in there probably should have made that one a little longer but what happens is if I lose one I'll just cut a couple more you know after this grows again but generally they all take once in a while you'll lose one of them and that's it just drop them in there don't worry about you know they're gonna orient themselves to the to the light just fine now I think I may only have seven good cuttings here and I have eight eight sites on the grow pipe. So that's okay. We'll just leave one of them unfilled and then after this grows a little more I can take another cutting. And we'll take this guy here. And I have some uh, some coleus that was in the garden that I already um, I took cuttings from about I don't know they're about three weeks in now. So I'm going to show you guys those. So you want to make sure you're getting into that solution. So if you need to cut off some lower leaves that's okay, you know, and push it down. And this one, I think I'll go right down to here. So it's very, very simple and easy. Um, yeah, I guess I do have enough for eight here. So I have one more here. I'm going to cut that. And then I'll, I'll keep these guys growing too, you know, and... Uh, but I prefer it in the pipe because I don't have to worry about watering it, you know. Well, you know, you still do, but much less. Oh, no. Okay, I am short one. Here's one more hole. So I got two, four, six, seven, and there's one more hole. Um, but I don't know. This There's only one more that's possible. I guess I'll take that one and throw it in. If it doesn't make it, then, you know, when these grow up a little bit more, I'll take another one. And if it's at the end, it doesn't matter too much, you know. So we'll just cut off these bottom leaves. That looks like it's barely going to reach my solution, but we'll see. You know, I can always add, I can always come up a little higher with my solution. The fill holes down the end, guys, where I have a fill hole right up on top here that's about an inch. And I just use a funnel and um, add some fluid which I think I'm going to because a couple of these were a little bit short and I don't want to, you know, don't want to have them not being able to reach the solution. So 
let's come in. Let me show you guys this closer up. But basically, that's all you have to do. And you're not going to need to worry about water in this for weeks, right? I mean, when they're first starting out, I like to check it in about two weeks because you don't want, you know, because some of them were short. But really, after that, they can go a very long time. Whereas these are going to need water about every, you know, four, four to six, four to seven days, something like that, depending on how hot it is and where I have them. But, um, but yeah, once these are established with some roots on them, I'll be able to let this go a lot longer without any, you know, any kind of maintenance at all. You know, sometimes they can go, you know, two weeks without, you know, two, three weeks without adding anything. Once these get up, you know, they get up in here when they're 10, 12 inches high and there's a, you know, bushy bunch of plants in here, then then it'll start drinking quite a lot. And I'll, you know, I'll be um, adding about every four or five days or so. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm excited to get these going. Um, haven't used much basil, haven't harvested. This was very slow growing here. Um, in the soil and I, I think it's going to grow much quicker in hydroponics in my opinion um, that's what seems to be I've always um, noticed that taking from soil grown into hydroponics and once it gets its roots it's like boom you know really quick and easy so let's take a closer look at this um, I've got my little rubber grommets in the grow pipe that's a new addition some of you guys know about that um, I do have one grow pipe in stock well, I have a bunch of grow pipes in stock, but I have to get more stickers. This grow pipe here has been through several seasons out in the greenhouse, so the stickers kind of worn off and I want to replace it, but I only have one left and that's going with whoever buys the next grow pipe. Um, but I do have grow pipes in stock. I just have to wait for my, my stickers to come in, my grow pipe stickers. So anyway, guys, there's links below in the, in the description if anybody wants to buy one of these. And also there's, there's a link to the how. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link in, but if I don't, just look for, through my videos for the how and why of grow pipes. And there'll be um, a video kind of that gives you some guidance on if you want to make your own grow pipe, um, you know, hole spacing and hole size and st stuff like that, what kind of pipe to use or what kind I recommend. Um, that'll all be in that video. So if you're a, a do-it-yourselfer or you want to try to make one yourself, you can make them any length you want, any size you want. Um, well, any length you want. The pipe is obviously always going to be 4-inch pipe. At least this pipe is 4-inch pipe. Um, but yeah, so let, let me take you guys in and show you this. And then I'm going to show you the coleus that I started at about the same size. And you'll see how it is now, which is probably about three weeks later. Okay guys, so here it is all planted up. This is actually the next day because my focus wasn't right. I think it's okay now. And so you can see a couple of them look a little bit wilty. But I think they're going to do just fine. But that's why you want to leave it out of the sun for, you know, at least probably a week. About a week. So it's looking quite nice. It's um these were, you know, pretty much the same. Well, here's one that I replaced cuz one of them one of them died. Didn't die, but it wasn't doing well. So I went to the garden and cut another one. But so they were that size and then they came to be this size in 3 weeks or so, you know, about 3 weeks. I don't didn't write the dates down, but um yeah, it should fill up that whole pipe really nice given another week or two. And I'll, I'll be doing a whole video on that of when I, you know, showing when I put them in and when it's all fully grown in. I'll give it another few weeks or so and then um, that should be looking really good. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. And while I'm over here, we have this beautiful rosemary. This has been growing really slow all summer. Sorry, guys. Must be about my car warranty. So here's this beautiful rosemary in a half gallon mason jar. And I'm, I'm 
running uh, master blend in this one because I had it for my other veggies in the greenhouse and um, this is really ready for a nice cutback so maybe I'll I'll harvest some of this do some cuttings because that'll make it branch out even more but I'm really loving the rosemary does very well in hydroponics and um, you know I'm going to keep this growing all year but I do want to dry some and I'll probably dry it with um, another harvest and I'm going to get a another harvest off these um, these beautiful peppers these uh, Thai volcano peppers and you guys probably saw in my one of my previous videos recently that I I harvested uh, quite a lot of these and dehydrated them I have like a well I have a pint jar anyway all dehydrated and we've been using them in soups and stuff they're very good I really like them and the plant was so prolific and you know I didn't think I was going to get a second flush but now I'm seeing blossoms that I'm going to get maybe a third flush. So I'm going to try to keep this growing here in the studio. Um, this is a south facing window here, but I'm also going to put up one of my shop lights, LED shop lights I have sitting over here ready to go. I just have to figure out how to hang it up there. And uh, that'll be good to go. So that's uh, that's where I'm going to put my basil after it has a week or so to get acclimated. Uh, one more thing I want to mention uh, to you when you do this is you don't want to put this right into the direct sun uh, right away after you do it. I'll leave it like right here in the middle of the studio or maybe on my bench over in the back there, uh, but not in the sunny window for eh, four or five days, a week or so, um, because they just, uh, you know, they need to get acclimated a little bit before they... Um, before they get really bright sun because they might wilt over so just give it a little bit of time give it you know give it a week or so you want it to have nice indirect light you know like it'll still get light from the window but you don't want it right in the direct bright sunlight right away um, other than that you should be fine and I'm trying to think what kind of things you can do you can pretty much take cuttings of almost any kind of vining house plants uh, most all house plants will will work this way. Uh, the coleus, as you've seen, um, bedding I can do rosemary. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, the basil works great. Um, I imagine sage would probably work, which I might try because I have sage in the garden that's doing really well. Uh, but that will die back for the winter too. So if I want live fresh sage, I'll have to start some and uh, get it rooted soon. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I do, um, I do answer everybody's questions and comments as best I can. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.